You know what I don't understand, right? Why are we allowed to keep in the in South Africa? But as a new, we must walk on eggshells. You see me, I'm a good product of colonization. Unlike many families who chose to take colored last names in order to assimilate and benefit from apartheid. As you can see, I am black. Mine dates back before apartheid, before colonization. It dates back to invasion, when the demon dragons first arrived. The only difference between you and I is that that one biracial great 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 grandfather of mine, who is a product of the whorehouses of the Cape of Good Hope, was taught about black consciousness and bred into it that his entire lineage knew where their loyalty lied, refused assimilation. I didn't run out of stories to tell because I'm not afraid of the truth, Mina. What do you think TikTok is? You're trying to stay relevant. Relevant? About my own history? My story? I'm not afraid to tell you that I am a product of the whole houses of the Cape of Good Hope. Maybe it's about time you take that band-aid off that bleeding wound. Because on this page, Zakala. It's either you sit down and make peace with the truth and you foot egg. The truth hurts. But unfortunately, we don't have enough black South African writers who speak about our history. It's like everybody knows about South Africa, but nobody really knows about South Africa. Especially South Africans. And then you non-entities want to tell us that are we running out of things to speak about to stay relevant. About real life experiences. The harsh truth is that it wasn't only Kwe that a lot of y'all, South Africans by colonial default, who came to South Africa as indentured servants of prostitution, claim to be your ancestors because Kwe were the only ones enslaved. Bantu were also enslaved. I hate to break it to you. A lot of people who actually grew up with families that worked for white people as helpers, maids, are literally a result of the slavery. Because when slavery was abolished, they switched the code from being slaves to being indentured servants. Getting paid nothing. Being forced to live at that house. Born into slavery are the same kids who were born of helpers or garden boys as parents. The term Khoisan was literally to identify white passing colors. Remember the pencil test? And erase Kwe and Bantu enslavement. Because Kwe and Bantu revolted against it viciously. Many of the Khoisan at the time didn't even have a lick of Kwe or Bantu DNA. But they did have invader DNA. And that's why it was so easy to be unbothered by the devastating genocide and erasure of Kwe and Tu. Not